was I'm a Manila born, Cardiff trained, and London raised artist, designer, creator, and I'm the founder of Galanachi, a luxury human wear brand inspiring you to realize your full potential, aka pioneers of greatness. So, yeah, ma'am, it is episode 16, and you already know the drill. We're gonna recap the week and then talk more about the brand and then just talk about thought of the week thought of the week not that kind of thought and yeah let's get right into it so this week i've been focusing on the technical drawings i was working on the technical drawings for the core collection working by piece by piece it takes a little while because it's front and back so i have to do the detailings for the front and the back as well and then also i've been using whatever i have in my wardrobe as references because the core collection is essentially what i wear what, what i literally wear but this time it'll be like my own design so i would tweak certain the certain the piece so it will be either cropped more cropped more baggy more oversized more slim fit just, it depends you know just depends on how i i like to wear it you know the core collection is basically my everyday clothing even though you you lot can kind of see that i'm always wearing this knit jumper but that's just because it's like a uniform now every time i'm wear actually it's what i wear when i'm in the studio and it's just a uniform now you know so this is part of the collection this nice dope knit sort of cropped knit vest i don't know man it's clean it's lit and yeah i'm just working my way through it i believe there's 12 pieces in there starting with 12 pieces and i have two remaining pieces to complete and then that's all the technical drawings for the the core collection done and then i could move on to the next phase and then that next phase would be put it putting them in a technical pack and then just making sure that I communicate my design ideas thoroughly. But then I'll go into more detail when I actually get into that that stage. Hold on, I need I need this bubble tea, man. That that Thai milk tea hits different, man. Two seconds, man. Them type pure caprils, man, gotta chew them. It's probably that a ASMR right now. Nah, this, this is banging, man, this shit banging. But yeah, whilst I was doing the, the core collection, the technical drawings for it, I was also jumping on TikTok. Uh, I was also jumping on TikTok Live. And just you might as well go on live if you're doing some kind of like what do you call it non-fancy things so i was doing the technical drawings and then i had my phone running on live and then when someone asks a question i'd i'd happily answer them but yeah man it's just one way of promoting your brand talking more about your brand have the TikTok live running or any kind of live running people will ask questions you know or sometimes i like to just introduce myself like oh i'm galanachi the creator founder of galanachi a luxury humor wear brand and then people would start engaging and whatnot it just depends man but yeah i would recommend to jump on TikTok live if you're just doing the the mundane type of sh shit you know of running a brand you might as well like you just have a phone running and then go about your 
your day really but obviously you just have to be mindful of what kind of music you play because sometimes tiktok might like, stop the live if you're playing like copyrighted music so i just like to play some some jazz hip-hop you know some instrumentals and then that, that's usually fine but yeah man interacted with a few people out there which is cool but yeah just this week's just been working on the technical drawings and that's about it really like sometimes it takes a week for these things even more <clears throat> but you know that's just the reality of it when you're a one-man army well not really one-man army but i have my sister helping me with the posting and stuff and then my girlfriend co-founder second opinion slowly getting in her more integrated into the brand but yeah that's that should wrap up this week you know nothing nothing too crazy really and uh, yeah man we'll get to the next what do you call it next segment okay the the more about the brand so we have i wanted to go i've done this previously on i don't know the early early episodes but it's the brand man you have to keep reiterate reiterating your message so the greatness poem i'm going to be going through that i'm going to have to pull it up actually i mean i've i've memorized it and it goes something like a child destined for greatness a feeling and a knowing from deep within how will this innocent child express it to the world as time goes by the child discovers ways to set a blaze to its flame and prevail oh shit no it doesn't go like that yeah okay I, i've forgotten it on the top of my head i might have to pull out pull out the ig cuz i posted it there but yeah man that's a bit it's a bit embarrassing but i'm just i'm the only one in the room so no one really heard But yeah, uh it goes a uh, goes like this. A child destined for greatness, a feeling and a knowing from deep within. How will the innocent child express it to the world? As the course of life sets sail, the child ex- discovers ways to set a blaze to its flame and prevail. But as time goes by, the child gets absorbed in the turmoil of life. The chaos pierces through the child's inner world like a knife. What was once a roaring flame has now reduced to a faint glow. The child reached deep down and confronted its darkened soul with the hopes to reignite its glow realizing greatness lies within the soul be brave and be bold fight for your light to shine through like the starry night and let it inspire those who have fallen in the dark and lost their sight for you are that child continue to fan your flame until your dying day and burn bright like the sun in mid July no matter how hard life gets greatness awaits within you and I So yeah, that's the greatness poem. That is the very 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 first thing that I did for Galanachi. That was the brand's manifesto. And I did that like one morning, one early morning morning. And I was like, "Yo, I need to I need to do up the brand's manifesto so I know the purpose of the brand and what it stands for." And the way I the way I wrote this poem is that when you read it you'll feel like it's about you and it is about you you know everyone has has the key in them right the keys to greatness and then it is down to you to to find the door that your key unlocks and that's what this whole poem is about this is what this whole brand is about it's about pushing that message that yo you you have it in you okay like wake up you have it in you to be great so work for it and then find out discover it and then it's just because for me it, it's like i'm on that s- stage where i was lost and when i say i was lost it was like during 
the period when I was doing architecture. That wasn't actually what I really wanted to do. That was just what I thought I wanted to do. Trying to fit into like society, what society thinks you should do, what your parents think you should do, like just those things, you know. And I was kind of like, uh, I, f I fell into that trap f trying to f navigate that. But then when I woke up, I was like, okay, this is this is some bullshit, man. This ain't for me. And then that's when I, I was like, okay, cool. Let me actually follow my actual passions. What what? I started questioning myself, like, okay, what do what is it that I actually want to do, and what is it that I've always been sort of just ignoring, and that was creating art, art, just pure art, you know, art in all kinds of forms, you know, poetry, drawing, sketching, painting, designing, whatever, man, and th that was the thing that I was ignoring because I was always drawing when as a young age at a young age five years old i was sketching mike wazowski and whatnot and then i knew i was good at that but i i didn't really f sort of think that okay I, I, I could probably focus on this and have this as a career i just sort of thought okay maybe i could do something that's related to it which was architecture and then that was basically the wrong path. Not wrong path, but an unfulfilling path. That's why I quit pursuing architecture. But then later down the line, I realized that actually helped me to do what I'm doing now. But I encapsulated all of that, all that thing, all those things that I went through, right, into this poem. Like this poem was about me, like knowing that I have I have this thing in me, the potential to be great, but I didn't know what that was. You know, I just had this feeling in inside me, like okay, I feel like I'm destined for something bigger. You know, but obviously it was just a feeling. I couldn't articulate it when I was younger, but I knew I was good at something. You know, the drawing, and and then as I pro progressed through life, I started to question and then find answers. And then this is what the poem is, you know, it's being lost and then finding yourself. It's just this whole journey of self-discovery, this whole journey of, of just finding what it is that you actually really want to do and have, having that time to question yourself. And then I put I poured all of that into this poem, and then so that if someone else reads it, maybe I can sort of help them in their journey of uh, finding what it is that they actually want to do, what their purpose is. And then this is what this whole brand is about, man. Galenacci luxury human wear brand, and it just goes back to it where. It's a luxury to know your purpose because it takes time to even know it, to find out what it is. And although everyone has it in them to be great, not everyone becomes great because then there's also hard work that comes into it. And then it's difficult. But if you really want it, you will achieve it just like the greats, the Muhammad Ali's, the Nipsey Hussles, the, the Virgil Abloh's, you know, the, the pinnacle. But then it has to start with you knowing and believing that, okay, that could be me, man. That will be me. And I will be that. I will find this, this greatness inside me and bring it, out, bring it out to the world. And yeah, man, that's, that's why I aim to do with this luxury human wear brand use fashion as a, a catalyst a tool to get people to realize yo you can be great obviously outside of just providing craftsmanship quality and then luxury items clothing designs 
you have to go way above that like that's why i always said that human wear is street wear but you're elevating it to the next level being the philosophical realm philosophy so questioning yourself that's what it is 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 being introspective looking within you know and yeah man that's that's what we're doing with galanachi that's why i approach the way i approach galanachi the way i design the way i market the way i present the brand as a whole it's just it's about the purpose man it's about pushing that message and you can't and you can't really fake that you know cuz you know you know if some it's energy man you you know if someone's about it and you man you could look through my instagram look at the brand's instagram man there's a whole digital footprint of what of where it's all started even on the youtube man i used on the actual galanachi youtube i didn't even bother like removing the previous artworks way before galanachi was a luxury human wear brand because i wanted people to see the self discovery within the brand the brand itself how it went from me doing portrait drawings into and then putting that on hoodies and tees as a form of merch and then that developing into a, a brand what we know what you can see now as galanachi but yeah man it's it's just it's a oh it's yeah it's a open book man you can read you can see the past you can see where i'm going with the future with the brand and yeah man i'm just excited excited so yeah the, that's that's the poem really so yeah man we'll get to the next segment which is thought of the week so like the main sort of thing that was just in my head throughout the week bouncing around and what that was and that was entrepreneurship is tough that's why having a purpose is crucial to allow you to keep going especially when you aren't seeing the results that you'd like so even right from the very 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 start i knew that purpose will play a big role especially when you're building a business and you're and you're walking the entrepreneur entrepreneurship path you know it's is different from having a a regular career path you know climbing up the the ladder the corporate ladder cuz with entrepreneurship is down to you if things fail is down to you you can't blame someone else oh that, that person is because of that person you know it's down to you like especially if you're starting from the ground up like you're a solopreneur everything that you do is on you and i like that because you're accountable for the results but then also if you're just beginning you shouldn't even focus on the metrics so even with like galanachi diaries since i started it 3 months ago it's not doing like crazy numbers like how it i did with 3 the 365 series but that's just how it is when you hit a roadblock and you have to switch up or you have to just be more authentic in how you want how i want to present the brand and this is i i want to present the brand like this to talk about it to show you how it the reality of it and then document it so that later down the line i could look back and be like wow i did all this you know and then it will help out certain people in certain stages in their entrepreneurship journey because this shit is lonely shit that's a bar but yeah man it's just it's just one of them things man and you only know that it's actually hard is when you actually do it and then you s- start to realize yo shit man shit's getting real but yeah man greatness takes time 
nothing great came from doing something easy. So when things go, when things are hard, then good. That's a good thing, man. That's an opportunity for you to to level up, to solve a problem, to to find a way, to find a solution. And this is why I love like just building this brand. Because you have to problem solve, man. You can't you can't be stagnant. If you're stagnant, then you can't move. It's like in boxing, man. You have to find you find an opening. You have to either you create an opening through your footwork, through your your output, your combinations, fainting, all of that, you know. It's a science, straight up science, this whole brand building, entrepreneurship, it's all science, man. And what works for one person won't necessarily work for the other, you know. So it's it's just trial and error and that's the beauty of it, man. Even though it's tough, it's, it's fun. At least for me, it's fun, man. This is the grind, we're in the grind. And yeah, man, we'll wrap it up there. And yeah. You already know, man. Comment if you have any questions, whatnot. Da 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 da. And then I'll see you guys on the next one, man. Peace. Chase, come on. <laughs>